excited. <laughs> she's, she's toy motivated. Sophie says, I think not. I haven't given her an order yet because I know she won't listen right now. She's very independent minded. So I'm trying to find just the right balance for her since she's not very uh, food motivated. All right, let's try this. Sophie! Good girl! That's a good girl. I put treats in there. Sit. No. Sit. Good sit. All right, so I know. Break. Trying to equate the food with some treats right there. Get her interested. That's probably the hardest part with Sophie. She's very cute. She's very sweet. She's become, uh, despite her first day, pretty confident. And she's a bit independent. Good girl, Sophie. All right. So I'm going to try to combine the treat and toy. And this is her breakfast, by the way. We've got the Kong all filled up. Now, Sophie seems to be fairly prey and play driven. And she may have to go to the bathroom. Sophie, by the way, has been pooping about four times a morning. She hears her buddies outside. She's got a lot of poop in her. She's good. She's, well, she's not very food motivated. She's eating what she needs to, clearly. She's not a real clingy dog. It sometimes helps when you have a clingy dog, especially in puppyhood, to uh, get the training process started. <laughs> you can see she's plenty play motivated, but she likes the game also on her terms. So we're gonna try to get her focus inward towards me, her handler trainer. She will, by the way, bury herself out in the snow and stay there all day if she can, or in the mud. All right, she's done her pee. I'm gonna try to keep baby Fo Sophie's attention again. She likes uh, Ziggy, as you can see. Ziggy, eh, he's not quite as fond of her. So. Then again, there is also in training today. This is his first day. He's, although he's not moving at all, he's a little bit of a distraction for Sophie. <laughs> Sophie! Yay! Good puppy! Set. All right, you can get more of your breakfast now. Break! Go get it, Sophie. Oh, look at that. Food everywhere. So with Sophie, we're using Ziggy, a Kong filled with food, because she's not really super food motivated, although she'll eat what she needs to. We combine that with a toy, though. She's also play motivated. She has short attention span, however. So uh, we're combining two things to make it more meaningful for her. <laughs> She's after a friend, Ziggy, or Finnegan. So when Sophie turns towards me, this will probably be the last one for her breakfast run. I'm gonna say her name. I'll make some noise with the Kong to see if she notices. She is, like I said, extremely independent.
Sophie, sit. <laughs> Good. So we got the Kong. Good, sit. All right, you ready? That big humongous thing right there, that's a puppy. Zeus. He's still a puppy. I'm not really sure how old he is. I believe he's still younger than one. And then Sophie, who's just a 10, 10 or 12 week old. As you can see, she's mastering Zeus already. There she goes, in for the kill. Ah, Zeus. She is, she came in all timid the first day, but this one's a little rascal. We got this duo over here. Crosby and uh, Finnegan seem to be hitting it off just well. Hey, you gotta watch Finnegan because he will lift his leg on stuff. It's just his first day here. Hopefully we'll get him out of that. Oh boy, puppies. Ziggy, quiet. I think they know me better than Good quiet, Ziggy. Trust me, she loves him when they touch him. Come on, Screamy. Sophie. Sophie. Ah, ah. Ah. Good girl. Get Zeus's tail. Oh, oh boy, Zeus. Now what's going to happen? Oh boy. Yeah, we That's here. one rambunctious 10 week old, huh? Just, uh, pop, pop, tap off here and, uh... <laughs> What's this? 